dais ahí? Eh, ¿Estáis bien? ¿Estáis mal? Eh, vamos a continuar con la lección que hemos empezado en el parque. We're going to continue with the lesson that we've started in the park this afternoon. And um, yeah, um, this today we're going to do bien, mal, bueno, malo, muy, mucho. Those are really, really useful, very, muy, very useful things to know because um, we use them a lot every day, every single day. So starting with bien and mal, bien is well, mal is badly. Both of them are adverbs and they describe actions. So how we do something. Um, no canto bien, <laughs> pero bailo bien. Mi marido cocina muy bien. Tengo mucha suerte. Y hay muchas personas que conducen mal. ¿Sí? Um, estar, the verb estar, to be, to be well. Estoy bien. I'm happy, feliz, estoy sana, saludable, healthy. O if something is right. For instance, an, an exercise that you have to, to do or something is right. El ejercicio está bien. O el ejercicio está mal. O estoy mal. I'm feeling bad. Okay? In that sense. I've written here as well. Bien. The same as muy. For instance, el volumen de la televisión Está bien alto, está muy alto. Por favor, bájalo, ¿sí? Um, los chicos son bien listos, son muy listos. The, the, the guys are very clever. O their behavior is not very good. They behave very badly. Portarse bien mal. Um, right, then we've got... Bueno, buena, buenos, buenas, malo, mala, malos, malas. In this case, these are adjectives. They, they uh, behave as adjectives. So they will go mainly with nouns, sustantivos. Nouns, what's a noun? A noun is, um, for instance, a person, an animal, a place, lugar, or a thing. Una cosa. So this this uh, means that whatever it is, it will match in gender and number, género y número, with that noun that we are referring to. So for instance, if we are talking about a restaurant, un restaurante, we can say that that restaurant is bueno, was un restaurante bueno, o un restaurante malo, ¿sí? Um, in this case, this is quite important because if we uh, change the order of the words, look at what happens. The O disappears. So it's a buen restaurante o un mal restaurante. We don't say malo restaurante, bueno restaurante. We don't say that. We say mal restaurante, buen restaurante. Um, and look at this mal because it's not the same as this one. It's just um, something to watch out for, okay? Then the rest is quite easy and simple. If it's singular, it remains singular, feminine. Película, a film. Una película buena, una película mala, una mala película, una buena película. It, it doesn't change. Or the uh, plural versions. Buenos restaurantes, malos restaurantes, películas buenas, películas malas. Right? Then, um, the word bueno, um, we use it as well as a filler. Like, bueno, 
when we want to start a phrase, a sentence, and we don't know exactly how to start, that it happens to me sometimes. <laughs> uh, we say, bueno, a ver, and then you start whatever you want to say, a filler. And also, we use bueno when, for instance, someone says, um, shall we go to the park? Vamos al parque. And you agree with that person saying, yeah, bueno, si, sí, venga, bueno. Um, with the verb to be, estar, <laughs> watch out, this, this is quite um, interesting. So when we say, como estas, estoy bien, si? ¿Sí? If you say, estoy bueno, or estoy buena, because I'm a, a girl, I'm feminine, I'm saying, I'm sexy, I'm attractive. <laughs> so, estar bueno o estar buena es ser atractivo, una persona atractiva, una persona sexy, ¿vale? Para comida, si la comida está buena, it means that it's got a good taste, that um, it's something that you can eat, that it's really nice, good taste, um, but Estar malo, para personas, for people, it means that, uff, estoy malo, I feel poorly, I, I feel, I, I'm sick, estoy enfermo, ¿sí? Estoy malo. Para la comida, the food, it means it's got a bad taste, it's out of date, it's something that you shouldn't be eating, because it's ugh, disgusting, right? And um, at least, uh, at last but not least, uh, we've got muy, mucho. Muy is an adverb as well, and it means very. It intensifies something. So it can intensify another adverb or an adjective. For example, muy tarde, muy pronto, Algo está muy bien o está muy mal. Those are adverbs, remember? Oh, la comida está muy picante. Very spicy, picante. Oh, las pizzas están ah, muy calientes. Very hot. Not in the same term as picante, right? So very hot. Ow, it's burning. Oh, las bebidas. Están muy frías. Cold drinks, right? Eh, muy bueno, muy malo. ¿Sí? Mucho. It means a lot. And it goes with a verb. It's invariable. All the adverbs are invariable. So, mi hermano trabaja mucho. Entre semana, pero luego el fin de semana eh, disfruta mucho en familia. O, oh, oh, me duele mucho la cabeza. ¿Sí? Por el contrario, podemos usar mucho, mucha, muchos, muchas as an adjective. And it goes again with a noun. And it means a lot of. So, for instance, um, I've got a lot of work to do. Tengo mucho trabajo que hacer. Or before, this afternoon, había mucha gente en el parque. See, ¿Sí? there were loads of people. In Spanish, people, we say gente. And gente is always a feminine and singular word. Always, okay? Había mucha gente en el parque. Uh, tengo mucha suerte porque tengo muy buenos amigos, muchos amigos, ¿sí? Y, por ejemplo, femenino, sin, eh, femenino plural, mm, hay muchas ofertas en las tiendas después de las navidades, ¿ya? Yeah? After Christmas, everything goes on sale. <laughs> so there's loads and loads of... Um, possibilities uh, to, to go and buy much cheaper. Um, yeah, so I think that that's all for today. 
hopefully it's a bit more clear. Uh, I've made this video thanks to uh, a student of mine who, who, who asked me like, Maria, please can you give, give us a bit, um, some more examples uh, using these words? Because uh, I went to Spain and I got a bit confused and I, I'm planning to go back uh, quite soon and I need to really make sure that I, I know these words because they are very useful and I, 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 I use them a lot every day. Um, so yeah, I think that if you keep sending me messages and, and comments, I will, make in, I will be making more and more videos and, and that's it. Uh, for today, you can write comments below and don't forget again to subscribe because we are getting like a big family here. <laughs> um, like, give a like and share because that makes uh, a lot of sense to me. <laughs> anyway, um, hope you have a great day. I'll see you very soon. Hasta pronto. Gracias.